folks, I'm Ian Baker with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman 2155BH. This is a nice floor plan, it's nice and lightweight because it's part of the Light LX series. So if you like the Coleman brand, but you're looking for something with fiberglass sides, then this is one you want to pay attention to. We have a nice aluminum frame, the, again the fiberglass sides on there, and it has a lot of versatility, a lot of great storage and space packed into a small coach and it's lightweight at just over 4,500 pounds. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. So you'll see they have upgraded countertops in here. You have the thermal form countertops, which are great. They're seamless. And then because we have that, that allows us to undermount the sink right here. Double bowl sink, larger one on the left, smaller one here on the right, which is perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And then you have the high rise faucet there as well. So it's easier to wash your pots and pans. Over to the side here is your two burner cooktop there as well. And then down below in lieu of an oven, we've gone for storage. One of the great things about having a big countertop like this means you have big storage. So you see a spice rack right over here. Underneath, look, they give you a spot for a trash can. That's really important to me. I hate having to hang a bag on a knob. This makes it a lot easier. You have a dedicated place for it. You have two big full extension drawers right here as well. And But not only do you have these two big drawers, but look over here, you have three more. A ton of uh, storage space here in this kitchen. So great drawer space all throughout there. And as I mentioned with big countertop, look at all this prep space you have. How often do you get this You know, when you're in a shorter RV like this? Almost never, so I love this part. Now if you're anything like me, I have to have coffee. Caffeine is like blood. So this is where my uh, coffee maker would be. Right up top here is your electrical outlet. So it's perfectly placed, you know exactly where to hook that up. And then right in front, take a look at this. Not only do we have huge storage in the main kitchen area, but look at this right here. That is massive storage. It's a perfect place for your pots and pans, or you know maybe if they'll all fit on the top, you wanna reserve the bottom for your shoes, you can do that too. But again, big versatile storage area is the name of the game in the Light LX. When we take a look up top here, Multimedia Center, this is your uh, radio and CD player. This controls the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside. That unit is Bluetooth capable as well. Right over here is a nice big storage area, perfect for your pantry. You'll notice you don't have a style in here, so if you do have larger items, you can easily fit those in there. And then over next to that is your microwave. Directly below is the hood with a light and fan. Now obviously you have to have cold storage too. So right over here is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. This unit's nice and big. Uh, you also have, um, uh, this one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. So that way if you're doing some boondocking, you can run off propane. If you have shore power, perfect. It'll run off electric for you. Next to that, again, going into that versatility side of things. When you have a shoulder, shorter travel trailer like this, you usually don't have a spot to hang up kids' clothes. Not the case. You have this huge wardrobe right here, which I think is awesome. And then underneath that, you have some shelves, so you have a place for uh, you know, all the folded clothes, or if you don't need to use that for clothes, again, you can use that for extra pantry too, which is pretty cool. Right in the back, here's the bathroom. Let's take a quick look at that. You'll see right down in the corner, you have a foot flush lever toilet there. Uh, you have perfect, you know, perfect amount of leg room, plenty there. What they did to give you a little more room up top is they cut the countertop back a little bit. You can see how they did that. Uh, and it still gives you a very large countertop. You have a cutout underneath for a small trash can. You know, plenty of space up top for a hair dryer, curling iron. You can see the electrical outlet right there as well. And then up top, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet. So nice extra storage. You need to see yourself in the morning, that's where you do it. Directly above that is your vent. So if you need to quickly get moisture out of the bathroom, you can open that guy up. Over to the side here is the tub shower. I like having a tub shower when you're in a bunk model because if you have smaller kids that, you know, you still give them a bath, you can still keep that uh, while, you know, you are camping because I can speak from personal experience. When you mess up kids' routine, they can be a little bit crazy. So uh, being able to still give them a bath is quite nice. And then you also see you have the hand wand there for ease of use while showering. Uh, when we step back out, AC units right up top here, nice and easy to control. You'll see your controls are built right on there. You can open them up, close them, depending on which way you really want the airflow to travel. Uh, the furnace is located underneath the fridge as well, and the thermostat for that is right on the wall here. As we take a look over on this side, these are our bunks. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft, so the kids have a good night's rest there. 
300 pound weight capacity on here as well. So if you have older kids or you know maybe friends that uh, need a place to sleep, you can do that too. Granted, they're not super huge bunks, so an adult may have to curl up a little, uh, but either way, uh, it can definitely support the weight. You'll see you have a window on both the top and bottom, as well as uh, a light here, LED light on the top and bottom. So if they need to do a little bit of reading, anything like that, uh, you know, they can put the head here, feet over there, and you're able to read a book. So you come around to the side, you'll see you have a spot for a TV. So again, you know, kind of a cool setup. That's where you can still sit in the dinette. When we go up front, you'll see this one has a Murphy bed. So this is a great spot from the Murphy bed. Watch the TV right there. Uh, you have a little bit of storage there underneath as well. Let's take a quick look at the slide out. As I said, name of the game here is versatile storage space. And here it is again, huge storage area. So, you know, if you want, uh, you didn't have enough pantry in the kitchen, you know, you had to put the kids' clothes in the wardrobe there, use this as extra pantry. You have the big drawers underneath here as well, uh, you know, or maybe you want to put board games. Maybe you like to play a lot of games when you're camping, you can stuff a ton of board games in there too. You have your dinette. You have to have a place to sit and eat. This is definitely the place right here. It's easily big enough for four people to sit at, so that way you and the kids can all enjoy a meal together, play a game together, and you have good room. You know, a lot of times the dinette, it's really up close here, so if you're a bigger person, you may struggle to squeeze in. You have good space here. Same thing with the table. You know, your legs aren't crammed in here, which is nice. And then this dinette does drop down into a bed. So if you need that additional sleeping space, you remove the legs here from both the flange and the table as well as the flange on the floor. The table will then sit along these rails. You'll take the cushions right behind me here, the backs, put them on top, and that will create your bed. Window right over here as well as behind me to let in some natural light, LED lights here up top. Now, as we take a look up front a moment, this is the Murphy bed. So uh, this is kind of you know one of those sticking points where people either love it or hate it. I myself really like a Murphy bed for a couple different reasons. Uh, one, I'm not spending full time in my travel trailer, okay? So it's not like I have to spend every single night in the bed. Is it as comfortable as your bed at home? No. But then again, no beds in travel trailers, fifth wheels, anything is. So uh, it still will give you a very comfortable night's sleep. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to make up, but what you get in return is an extra couch, an extra seating space in a smaller travel trailer where normally you would not have it. Normally this is just a bed. I like having the, uh, the couch here so I can sit here and relax on a rainy day. I can have friends over, I can entertain. There's enough seating for my kids, you know, my wife and myself. I have a great view to the TV here as well. Um, so to make the bed, it's not too terribly difficult. It's quite easy. These armrests here are just Velcroed. So what you do is you unvelcro those. These little central cushions right here come out. So we'll just put those off to the side, just like so. Then what you'll do, this is basically a jackknife sofa. So if you're familiar with how that works, you lift this up, the top pushes, drops right down just like that. And then you have a lock on either side here. So you simply unlock that on both sides, just like that. And then this comes down nice and easy, like that. That is essentially going to be your base. That's what gives you the support and structure. Then you pull your mattress out. Now granted, this just came from the manufacturer, so we still have the plastic and everything on here. But that's really all there is to it. It's super simple to set up. You know, it takes you a, a minute, maybe two tops. So the, really, again, I would much rather have the versatility here. Now you'll see that when that drops down, they put this really cool wall board up here. I really like what they did. I think it's a very neat look, you know, something you'd often see in like a house. I think that's pretty cool. A couple LED reading lights there as well. On both sides of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe. You want a space to hang up your clothes? There it is. And take a look, right down below, you have electrical outlets. So whether you're sitting um, you know, on the couch or if you're lying in bed, need to charge a cell phone, run a CPAP machine, you're still able to do that in the 2155. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Coleman 2155BH. Starting right up front here, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Very easy to access those tanks, just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door and you are down and in. Right behind that, you'll see the rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Take a look at this. This is something that is very important. When you think of Coleman, you think of high-end camping, you think of quality, and they have definitely stuck to that. Coleman has the industry-best 
three-year structural warranty. So if you want to talk peace of mind, you have it right there. When you come around to this side, one of the other things you will notice is they put solar prep on here as a standard. It's nothing you have to option in. If you like to go camping where you don't have uh, shore power, this can be really beneficial. It'll basically run a lot of your LED lights inside. It's a constant trickle charge to the battery. All you have to do is buy the Furion panels, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. Right next to that is your pass-through storage. If we take a look inside, you can see there it's nice and clean. Uh, you do have a light strip going all the way across. So rather than having just a little light, you have the whole strip, flip it on, you can see everything in there. And because it is a pass through, you can access that from either side. As I had mentioned, the Light LX series has your fiberglass exterior here. Uh, that's awesome. It's a laminated exterior, you know, so it's nice and sturdy aluminum structure running all the way through there. Big power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. You also have an LED light strip. So if you want light at night, you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Just flip a switch and you are good to go. Getting in is nice and simple. You'll see they have three steps. Again, something you don't often see in this uh, size travel trailer. Generally they have two. I like the fact they gave you the third here. It makes it a lot easier to enter or exit the RV. If you're, uh, again, camping where you don't have water hookup, you need to fill up your fresh water tanks, that's where you do it right there, gravity fill, nice and easy. Electric outlet right out here, you know, if you need to plug anything in, that's going to be the place. Right down below, easy lube axles on here. You know, they're thinking about you, not just while you're camping, but for the maintenance of the RV as well. Easy lube axles are a lot easier than constantly repacking the bearing. It has a grease cert on there. There are still some special instructions. You definitely want to lift it up. Make sure you're rotating the tire around. Definitely do your research before you do it. But again, it is a much simpler process. Uh, you also see you have nitrogen filled tires too. Nitrogen filled tires are nice because they help hold your tire pressure for a longer period of time. That nitrogen is not as likely to escape. The reason that's beneficial is, you know, you want to make sure you have solid tire pressure. Anytime you go out, you know, on any RV, no matter what it is, you always want to check your tire pressure before you head out on your camping excursion. So we make our way around to the back here. Let's take a quick look. You have your spare tire mounted on the bumper. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's nice that it's right here. You also have a cover, so that way you know when you do go to use it, it will be in good shape. Take a look up top. Not only do you have solar prep, you also have a backup camera prep. Not that this is a huge RV, but you know what? If this is one of your first ones out there, or if you're like me, you know, I love my wife to death, but sometimes she's just not the best spotter. You know, she stands behind the RV, she stands where I can't see her in the mirror. So having that backup camera is really nice. Uh, one, it helps me not hit anything. More importantly, make sure that the kids or no one else is behind it, so that way I don't hit anyone. Uh, and again, having the prep makes that backup camera a lot less expensive to have installed. Come around to the off-door side, here's basically the rest of your connections. Cable inlet, city water right over here, 30 amp electric right there. And down below is your termination. You see your gray and black valve are nice and easy to reach. That way you don't have to get down on your hands and knees. You can reach them both from a standing position. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this was a 2018 Coleman 2155BH. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker. And remember, folks, it's a beautiful world out there. So let's go camping.